Tuesday, she was on the on the back of a hood uh, of mine. I, I had it upstairs or outside without even realizing that she was there. And uh, as soon as she saw daylight, I sat down on a chair and the movement scared her off my shoulder and she was gone. Put a missing bird uh, plastered all over Facebook and pet find. And, This bird's very fortunate in that uh, I was driving home when I pulled in the driveway. Some of our neighborhood children had recognized that she was not a native wildlife species and came to me and said, hey, we've got this bird. Fortunately, we were able to get hold of her pretty quickly and we posted a video to Facebook. Hey everybody, Dr. Walton here doing the Animal Hospital. Anyone missing a pet cocktail? Um, and all of a sudden, uh, our home phone line, Facebook just blew up on us. It was nonstop. Just, I think they have your bird, and we got in contact. Ten minutes, yeah. <laughs> literally. Was, by the, we did the videotape. By the time I got into the house, oh, we know who, who this bird is. <laughs> it's amazing. As you can see, Ruby's quite hungry and has been eating uh, quite a bit this evening. Uh, she's very fortunate. Because not only did she fly nine kilometers, she actually flew through some of the most raptor infested areas in Maple Ridge. If you've ever driven back roads of Maple Ridge, you're well aware of all of the birds of prey that would have possibly fed on this little guy. We have some great news. We found Ruby's owner. Uh, this is uh, John, uh, sorry. Clancy. John Clancy. Really touched by the community. Just complete strangers just reaching out and saying, um, hey, I know you're missing a bird and this is where uh, we think it might be. And... A couple of people I'd like to thank. First off, my lovely wife who has basically been taking care of Ruby this entire evening, as well as the neighborhood kids who had the wherewithal to realize that there might be an animal in need. As well, I'd like to thank uh, um, the uh, pet searchers. Uh, they're the ones that were able to help us locate the original owner, as well as Grey Haven exotic bird rescue who have helped out as well.